All right. Uh, I believe I have sent you all the evidence, correct? Did you get it, Alex? Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. All right, you may sit. Thank you all very much for coming today. Today's court hearing, we are going to be having a man that was allegedly attacked by a dog and a officer of the law, assistant sheriff buddy over here. And we are going to start off with the defense or with the um, prosecution giving their opening statement. Prosecution, take the stand. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. In in my client's case, you can clearly see that he was attacked by a dog by being urinated on. When he kicked the dog away, a simple push with the foot, the dog has started attacking him, and so did the officer. It is clear that the officer used excessive force to gun down and beat my client. Thank you very much. Defense. I'd you like to it. object to that. Um, it w I did not gun him down. I tased him. And then I uh, I only got one taser off on him after several misfires. And uh, then I had to proceed with a baton because he continued to punch me repeatedly after he did tase me several times in the back. Thank you for the clarity. You may take the stand to give your opening. Oh my. Hey, hey, hey. You sent me the evidence. Send me the evidence. You okay over there? So, when I, when I arrived on the scene, um, I did have a canine unit with me who was earlier in the day handed off to me by one of my other officers. I don't remember his name at this time, but uh, he handed him off to me. I did not realize how aggressive the dog was. He did, uh, I guess he did come from that uh, that old movie, uh, Men in Black, you know, with the talking dog. And uh, I guess he became very mouthy to this individual here when I was talking to somebody else. Um, he must have said something to this guy, and this guy ended up kicking him, so the dog bit him. And then that's when I turned around and saw him hitting my uh, canine unit at the time. And uh, so I, I tased at him. I, or I, correction, I attempted to tase him, and I pulled out the wrong weapon. I did shoot him by accident. I did pay for his medical bills. Um, and then I brought out the taser and misfired at him a few times before finally hitting him. Uh, once he got up, he tased me and then continuously tased me about three or four times, I believe. I don't remember the exact count. Um, and then tried to punch me to death. So that's when I took out my baton and defended myself. And my adrenaline was kind of pumping, so I continuously beat him to make sure... He wasn't going to get back up and hurt me again. Oh, oh my God. Uh, I'm sorry. That was, that was my fault. And then uh, later on, down in the jail cell, uh, when we had him in custody, um, I went to uh, find out what, what happened between him and the dog, and the dog ended up biting me. So I ended up having to put the dog down. And here we are today. All right. Thank you very much. Prosecution, do you have any witnesses you'd like to bring forward? Um, first off, Your Honor, I'd like to get a copy of the evidence submitted to jury because I do not have. Wonderful. Yeah.
Do you have that now? Yes. Fire out. Wonderful. Uh, I apologize. I thought uh, you had that evidence. Uh, no. I am going. I'd like to call the plaintiff, Ricky Bobby, to the stand. All right, Ricky Bobby. Ricky Stop. Bobby, please take the stand. So, Mr. Bob, could you tell me what exactly happened in your own words? For sure. So, I was there at the beginning, copying and talking. Cop and guys and I started talking shit to each other, and then he said, get down to my level, so I did. And that's when he pissed on my shoe, and that's when I kicked him. And that's when the cop put out his pistol and shot me two times in the arm with it, and then took out his taser and shot me with it. After that, I took out my taser, shot him a couple times, and I started kicking him for my own self-defense. And after that, he pulled out his uh, baton and started whacking me with it until I fell down to the ground, and then kept whacking me with it. And while he was hitting you, was he saying, oh, so he was saying stop resisting when he was hitting you with a baton, even though you were already down. Yes, sir. So you were defending yourself. You nudged the dog with your foot to kick it away from peeing on you after it already started urinating. Mm hmm Okay. So he was defending himself, trying to keep his clothes clean from a dog. That was owned by the officer over there. From peeing on it. The officer retaliated and fired two shots into my client's arm. My client retaliated then again. The only weapon he had. A non-lethal weapon. To defend himself. Objection. What's your objection? I, I only fired one shot on him. From your I mean, uh, from my pistol. live firearm, correct? Yes. Correct. There's two attorneys in the chambers right now. There's a dude who fucking looks like he's about to die because he's hunched over. And then a dude talking right now. I don't know. The dude over here is your attorney. I'll stand over here then. So your objection is you only shot him once? Yes, I only did shoot him once. And it was just... Do you have that on body cam? Because my client said he fired. Okay. My client said he the, uh... shot him once or twice. He didn't count. Because the pain in his arm. If I walked up to you and shot you twice in the arm, I thought you would count it. You'd say I shot you twice. Or once. It doesn't matter. Like One I shot said... to the arm with a lethal still is a shot to the arm against an unarmed civilian. Like I said, I was trying to pull out my. Uh... My taser, and I pulled that one out by accident, just the adrenaline going off. There's no accident. You pulled out your uh, <clears throat> lethal weapon on purpose. Not on purpose. Uh, yes, one on room purpose. two can, uh, is uh, 1076 to your pillbox. Uh, for that defense. So he shot you with a lethal for mm -hmm. pushing the dog away. Mm-hmm. And then continued to beat you after you were already down. Okay. Screaming, stop resisting. Stop resisting. You're already down. He could have put handcuffs on you. But he didn't. He decided to take out his baton and continually beat you over the... Prosecution rests at this time. No further questions for this witness. Prosecution, would you like, or uh, defense, would you like to 